What a stunning studio you have. Thank you. I mean, I mean we're looking... Yeah, I'm lucky. It's lucky. this lovely grand space yeah. looking north out to... Uh, out across the Tay, up to... Yeah. Uh, uh, well, over up to, to the Sidlaws. Yeah, Sidlaws yeah. and beyond. And you always get the weather coming down. Yeah. Um, I'm constantly hanging out my window, taking photos yeah. of, the, of the sky. Because, in, and is, is that... I mean, well, obviously, you've, you've been... For, for uh, working towards this body of work, you've, uh, you've been to St. St Kilda, yeah. you've been up the high west of Scotland, but being here must have an influence on, yeah. on your work it's as well. It's a constant flux of weather. Yeah. And the, the, you know, it's, so it's changing, it's never, never ever the same. Mm -hmm. So I think if I'm, you know, if I'm trying to work out compositions, you know, I, I literally can simply gaze out of the window and, oh gosh, that's how a cloud might work or mm -hmm. that's how it might feel. Um, yeah, so it's it's wonderful. Yeah. So Helen, we've got a wonderful series of uh, of, of panels, a beautifully placed above your above your artist palette as well. Yeah. Just, they, they seem to be um, well. These two are very 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 different. One's perhaps perhaps maybe I'm reading it wrong. Slightly more representational. The one on the right is uh, again was this wonderful nocturne. Yeah. Um, I think the yeah the nocturne was really about the simplicity of what you see, but the the sheer poignancy of it that kind of moment of oh, wow I mean just kind of the the silver silver um, sea and along this kind of undulating coast and you know that the the, the, the slabs of rocks are down there but um, yeah it was a, it's a simple piece. Um, it's not noisy. It's it's it don't, again. It was actually much quieter at night. I don't know whether um, the dark seemed to actually cushion the noise yeah. for me. It's, um, yeah, that was quite quite a beautiful kind of evening to spend out there. So it was nice to be able to just paint a very simple yeah. piece from it. Yeah. Um, and so Helen, this one, this one again has got quite a different feel. Well, for me anyway, it has a yeah. slightly different feel for it than. Than, than the ones we just looked at. Um, again, is, is, it, is, this some, is this inspired potentially by looking into the landscape rather than at, rather than out? You know, a lot of the, of the other works have been out out into the yeah, yeah, into the sea, yeah. into the into the wateriness. Um, this is about being in in the landscape. Actually, really, that walking through that experience of being in the hills. The, you know, I go up into the hills as often as I can. Um, and there's nothing quite like that, just the sense of remoteness, um, the wildness you get from the Scottish hills, um, and perhaps the sense of being lost, but not. Yep. Um, it can go back to the Victorian times of that, the gloom and the glory of, of exploring, um, or the Nan Shepherd kind of experience yeah. that you might, might feel when you're up there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, mountains. My thing. I'm from from the Lake District. Oh, yeah. So originally, you know, I was following my dad at mountains. Yeah. You know, as a as a young child and kind of wondering what the heck I was doing up there. But it kind of seeps in. It becomes part of your life, and you look back and you really appreciate those kind of moments to explore and find things, and new um, things. Uh, is it fair to say that you're not a, a fair weather walker? You. <laughs> Is that, is that, you, no, if I go to the place for research yeah. and it's, if it's blue skies, I'm thinking, oh gosh, what can I get from this? And, and that becomes a different experience, different yeah. challenge. But I love it. It's the movement and, yeah, the changing light patterns, um, the atmospheric conditions of, you know, rain clouds coming over or feeling the, the chill and, and noticing the kind of ripples on the lockens mm -hmm. or Ramak Moore especially incredible place because you're kind of trying to dodge around these kind of watery waves yeah. you know it's peat and um there's a feeling of there's no way out of here because it's, it's so expansive yeah um when you're in the landscape you know in Rannoch Moor or mm -hmm. up in Ascent um do you I'm just wondering how you how you how you go about gathering the information that, that you then take back to the studio. Are you are you just, are you there just to absorb? Are you are you making notes? Are you taking photos? Or are you just or are you just enjoying the experience as it? I do I do all of that. Um, I do take sketchbooks. 
I, I generally I'm a walker, so I do like to walk. I mm -hmm. walk up the coast and round about and to the beaches, but um, sitting, I think, if it's not too cold, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, yeah. is the is the best way really for me to actually, you know, let a a place absorb, mm -hmm. you know, through the skin and. I suppose you, it's the process. I'm guessing when you're in the last, you you have to be constantly looking because the, the subject doesn't present itself. It's the it's the nuances of light. It's the it, yeah. It down to observation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you are looking. You you're listening. And um, I went out when there was a, an ascent um, at Clackdall. I, I was lucky enough to be staying just a couple of hundred meters from from Split Rock there and. I went out at night. I thought, perfect, I'm going to go yeah. try and draw at night time. <laughs> <laughs> and, which I had done before, but realized, getting out there and suddenly realising it, oh, it's absolutely pitch black. Yeah. But I loved the challenge, actually, and I obviously didn't go quite too close it's to the edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was yeah. really aware. Yeah. All, your sen all your senses become really quite tuned in in the dark. Um, do you have your head torch on? How did you? No, no, no. I decided okay. not to do any lights okay. at all. Just to kind of plod. I'd I'd mapped my way from my previous walk, okay. which way I was yeah. going to go, which way was safest, um, and actually just plonked myself down and just looked. And the more you look, actually, the more light that comes in. Yeah. Um, and you get the much softer tones at night time, mm -hmm. and so there's it's. There's no kind of linear effect of anything. Yeah. It's, it's much more muted, and you're looking for pools of so your eyes search out pools of light. Um, but then I, I then had to try and work out how I was going to draw this yeah. using a pencil um, without want, having the time to to actually shade or get any tones going in. So I was I found I was drawing, you know, shapes of clouds mm -hmm. without actually looking at the book because yeah. I couldn't see it. Um, so it's a really sort of intuitive experience. Yeah. Dropping it all yeah. yeah. I loved it. These are the sort of night sky from Ascent, is yeah, that? Yeah, right? a couple of these are anyway. Um, get the sense of it. You know, they're really quite simple in form. Simply because it was, you know, you've got the light, yeah. the light pockets and pools, um, and trying to get the the sense of of this enormous vast sky above yeah. you.